Hello and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be diving into packaged sewage treatment plants. Don't worry, it's not as gross as it sounds. We're going to be talking about all the things you need to consider if you're looking to install these type of systems for your property. First, let's define what one actually is. A packaged treatment plant is an underground system that takes the sewage from a property or development and depending on the technology it uses, treats the waste to a point where it can be discharged into a drainage field or a flowing watercourse. That's essentially what a sewage treatment plant does. Unlike old school septic tanks, they actually treat the waste to a point it can safely re-enter the water cycle. Now you may be wondering, well, how to actually treat the waste? Well, they work in three simple steps. First is the settling phase. This is where the initial separation happens. Think of it as a settling chamber. The solids sink to the bottom while oils and greases float to the top. Next is the treatment phase. This is where the actual treatment happens. In the case of our systems, the natural bacteria found in the sewage gets to work, breaking down the organic matter with the help of oxygen fed into the system. Then finally is the discharge phase. The treated water is then discharged from the system either to a drainage field or to a flowing watercourse. It's worth noting that some systems may include an additional treatment phase in order to reduce any further nutrients found in the effluent that is discharged. This includes planting reed beds as an example. When it comes to sewage treatment plants, there's not just one type of plant to choose from. There's many different types that use different types of technology. You've got activated sludge systems, rotating biological contractors, and in our case, you've got sequence batch reactors for our systems. All use different technology for different processes to treat the waste. All have their own pros and cons, so it's good to understand how each type of system works for you to understand which is the best for your project. Package treatment plants are typically used when either properties or developments can't connect to the main sewer network. For example, homes built in rural locations, campsites and caravan parks handling seasonal loads, and farm shops and rural businesses. Now I know you're thinking, this sounds great and all, but is it a hassle to actually set up and maintain? Well, fear not. While installation does require some expertise, as you may need ground workers to install the tank and an electrician to ensure there's an electrical connection for the compression control panel, most manufacturers have extensive installation guidelines and at Graph UK we even have a network of accredited service providers who can install the system for you and provide regular service and maintenance checkups to ensure the system is operating as designed. It's important to remember that every type of system is different and they're depending on the different needs for your site. So before you consider which one to choose, you may want to consider the following details. First, you want to consider how big does the system need to be. A simple rule of thumb is to take the number of bedrooms in the property and add two. This ensures the system can cater for the property at max occupancy. However, once this number goes above 10 bedrooms, further calculation is required. Next, you need to consider the space you have available. You could install the system in the garden, but it may be that you don't want to ruin your garden by excavating it. And you could install the system underneath your driveway instead. Then you want to look into local regulations. You may want to check with your local building authority for any potential regulations you need to meet as every county is different. Then you want to consider your budget, both upfront and long-term costs. As some systems might be more cost-effective to purchase and install, but have expensive maintenance and servicing costs, or some systems may seem more expensive upfront, but are cheaper to run and maintain. Finally, you want to consider your future needs. You may be considering extending your property and build the extension you've always wanted. And if you're adding more bedrooms to cater for your family, you may want to install a slightly larger system. And there you have it. That's everything you need to consider before installing a sewage stream plant. Whether you're looking one for your home or for your business, these are vital systems that help us to protect our environment. Thank you for watching this video. We really hope you found it helpful and make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel so you never missed a future one. And if you do have any questions about our sewage stream plants, let us know in the comments.